do them too. My name's Marge and Mahilka. I'm empath and I like to do these little daily videos and stuff and you know I'm really having a hard time trying to be consistent here and doing these every day you know because part of it it's my vlog it's my video diary and it's you know it's kind of a means in which ways that for me to stay accountable be consistent because I'm tired of freaking lack of inconsistency within people that's the whole that's the reason why the world is inconsistent it's because people are inconsistent people don't freaking do what they say they're gonna do they think that their time is so valuable that they can't be on time to meet you you know you can't I had a conversation about that today common courtesy it's you know so I'll wait five minutes if I'm supposed to meet somebody you get 300 seconds five minutes and then I'm done I used to pick people up for right and give them rides and stuff you know <clears throat> for fun and for free and now the you know and I'd give wait five minutes well I'm you're not out you know I'm gonna be and they you, one time you leave them one time they learn their lesson that's the thing you know be consistent I've had people tell me I was consistent to it the, the detriment <laughs> so freaking weird well because it's just much easier to deal with people that change their mind all the time all willy-nilly because they're freaking wonderful you know who changes their mind all the time politicians they don't even know what's up they're just like I'm gonna make this like this because I feel like making this like this and these people need this and my team needs a new fleet and my, this people oh and you know and let's buy pizza for the whole office because it's on the you know the taxpayers we'll just put it in petty cash and burr, 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 all this stuff it's freaking nonsense you know <laughs> I look at the world and what I've always interpreted and what it was supposed to be you know and people people have free will and frankly I don't even know if the world's gonna be okay there's a storyline that exists that's a freaking you know it's gonna end in catastrophe people have personal will free will they don't start freaking stepping up into their own power they're gonna keep falling for other people and and just living under their control you know this whole country was based on stealing took it from my ancestors didn't have any problem killing all my ancestors no no and then you bring oh you're gonna pay the Native American card oh you know people pay the play the freaking <clears throat> Holocaust card it's all the same you know whenever you steal things from people and then kill them yeah that that ain't no there ain't no bad karma to be collected in that eh, Uncle Sam you know <laughs> you know what happened isn't it kind of funny I found that you know I found a long time ago that when people don't play with their toys right, their po toys break. Yeah, things break. They don't work right, you know. In our, our human bodies, we don't act accordingly. They stop working the way they should. And it's just notice, you know, that all this, these, these, these governments, these men that want to make big bombs, and they de declare that their bombs are worth thousands of dollars, and they're, 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 they're drones and their you know killing machines what would this country be if they put as much money into living <laughs> as they did killing billions of dollars are spent on freaking arsenals how is that going to benefit us how does that benefit you how does that benefit me does it benefit you does it benefit me for us to go over to places like syria and freaking blow them up and you know, go to places where, frankly, they don't even want us anyway. Right? Right? But men have to do what men have to do. And you know what happened to a lot of these men? You know? Because they're so small. They're so small. These men are so small. Their parts stop working. You know how much military is spending enhancement drugs? Men that have to enhance themselves. Yeah. 11 million in 2016. It's been a few years, so that's probably about 10 million more. Add another 10 million to that, you know. You know. I think women are just wising up. Men don't act like men, you know. W women don't want to be with fucking bully Neanderthal, Neanderthal control freaks, you know. They don't. They don't like that. I know from what I understand, the 
you know, a lot of the women that I know that the kind of men they like are the kind of men that protect them and then provide for them. And, you know, you know, there's this whole idea that of this paradigm that's dying away. You know, I worked, I've always worked around men. You know, I worked in IT, I worked in maintenance, and they're just all fucking full of shit, dude. <laughs> they're fucking full of shit. I always constantly tell them, I hope you don't go home and tell your wives how hard you work, because then not only would you be lazy, but it'd make you a fucking liar, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know it because I've seen it. I'm not mad about it, because I'm not lazy. They are, you know? <laughs> so I have always had trouble with relationships, because seems like the ladies that I like are awful. I don't know. I just think they're... My friends tell me I just like straight girls. I don't think everybody's all the way straight, 100%. <laughs> There's too many stories I've heard, you know, to verify and prove that. Gay for pay. All that stuff, you know. You know, gay in a way. Gay while away. All the deployed men, you know, buried men that go off and have all their indiscretions and you know, but it's all right because it's in a different country. <laughs> fucking stupid, dude. <laughs> These aren't my secrets. I don't. I mean, you know, don't tell all our. You know, <laughs> don't let people know that <laughs> how things really are, Marge. Because then they might have a get a clue. You know. But what are you gonna do? I live out loud. I live in truth. You know, people aren't supposed to be tainting their lower vibrational chakras anyway. They're not supposed to be having multiple parties. That's your karma mixing with their karma, mixing with all the people that they've been in their karma, and it's just, it's freaking gross, you know? You don't even know what you're doing. You're trying to sort your energy field out, and you freaking bring somebody else in with their lower vibrational... Oh, no! <laughs> there goes the STD numbers. What do you do? What do you do? You just try and, you know, make YouTube videos every now and again and just, just reiterate people. Fill your own cup up from the inside out. Make your own self happy. Do what you want to do as long as it doesn't infringe on somebody else's personal rights or, you know, you can't freaking hurt people. and you, People just got to be good to people and that's not even happening. That doesn't, dude, I was out in the world for a couple hours today, and just the common courtesy, if you're going to be late for an appointment, call. If you're running late, somebody's waiting on you, and somebody might be waiting on them waiting on you, and, you know, it only takes a second to be courteous. Courtesy isn't common. Courtesy isn't, you know, I just trying to be consistent doing these videos I'm having a hard time because it's just I'm having a hard time keep telling myself every day it'll get better it'll get better and it's been two years and frankly it's gotten a little bit better but <laughs> it ain't really to my liking yet you know so today I'm comparing my insides to a lot of people's outsides and you know, I was telling him when I went and got my ears lowered today, I was telling the guy, I said, you know what? <laughs> he was talking about his son. <laughs> now his son gets his I don't give a fuck attitude. And I'm like, yeah, when I get that, you know, I'm just, I got to be really careful about getting that. Because when I get that, you know, it just, it seeps out in toxicity. And I can't do that. So that's when I readjust and I start looking at gratitude and focus on all the things that I have to be grateful for gratitude but just because this is this is your life circumstances are a certain kind of way one way doesn't mean they're going to stay that way forever we have the power to change our outcome we do some people are just a little extra impatient because there's this thing called divine timing and Today, I guess I'm having a hard time finding my virtues and my impatience. So, I take a little extra time to spend outside. Remember to pause, breathe, and be. And we just start all over tomorrow and then maybe hope for, you know, hope things are a little bit better.
So, this is all I got for now. I don't even know what's going on in the world. I know the global watch is high. So I know people are, and when people aren't, aren't people are in their emotions, man. Unless you're constantly surrounded by and doing things that you love, you know. We all go through it, so. Hope you have a rad day. Peace.